Good afternoon, everyone, on this Good Friday afternoon. I hope that you're having some time today to reflect on the death of Jesus and what that's meant for us. You know, for myself, I was thinking about those words on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And what he was going through in that time. You know, before that, he'd gone through some pretty uh, tough times in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was in anguish over what he was about to do. Moments later, the pain, the stab in the heart of a betrayal of a friend when he was taken captive. And he was brutally tortured and beaten and whipped, mocked, suffered a disgrace, publicly humiliated, naked on a cross. But through all that, he was strengthened by his resolve and strengthened by the presence of his Holy Father. But then in that moment of, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was utterly bereft and alone. As the sin of all mankind, past, present, and future was laid on him, the, the Father withdrew. And I like to think that in that time, one of the things that sustained him was what's called in Hebrews, the joy set before him. The thought that he'd get to be with you. The thought that going through all this would mean that he would have the chance to be with you for all eternity. And that that's something that sustained him and kept him going through that time realizing that he could have stepped down from the cross at any point that he wanted. He could have said, this is enough. But he didn't. And I'm so grateful for that. So I hope that during this day, you'll have some time to reflect on what he's done. <clears throat> and I want to leave you with one other thought. I was talking to Richard Hall this morning, and he mentioned this old song by Carmen called Sundays on the Way. I thought I was the only guy who remembered that song. <laughs> He says, it may seem like Friday night, but Sunday's on the way. So, whatever you're going through today, whatever you're going through during this time, if it's tough, if it's difficult, if it's taxing, if it's wearying, remember that we have a strength in the Lord that you can draw strength from Him. And because of what He's suffered now, we can draw strength and never have to be alone. It may seem like Friday night, but Sunday's on the way. And we'll be recording a Sunday service tomorrow morning and putting it out there by Sunday morning, hopefully. So look forward to sharing that time with you all. Blessings.